Hello, you're watching Tulip Swift. Today I want to do my favorite Taylor Swift songs of all time. It's kind of a joke that everyone's like kind of fighting for the most underrated song and Twitter wars are like, why doesn't anyone appreciate So It Goes? It's all fight to the death all the time. But honestly, every song is amazing in its own way. Every song means something different to every fan. So these are my top 13 favorite Taylor Swift songs. I think I feel really confident about the songs that I picked. I don't feel confident about the order, so I would say disregard the order. It's funny because songs that I liked when I was like way younger and like when I started to become a fan are not like as amazing to me anymore. I'm really more of a Taylor Swift pop fan, so I love her pop music. Love some old country jams as well. We'll see as we get into it. I'll go over each one. And honestly, I'm sorry if this offends you, but just every song is a good song. So this is the 13 I came up with. You can fight me in the comments. That's fair game, all right? Yeah, let's get started. Ours was the surprise song for the Red Tour. I think I always loved ours just after I saw that music video. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's just so sweet. I love ours. The next song for number 12 is Treacherous. I didn't fall in love with the song until the moment she sang it. Um, at the Red Tour. It was her on the beam and I really couldn't see much from my seats at the Red Tour So actually when she was on the beam that was like one of the only times I could actually like see her How the, the music swells and how it feels in a stadium was just so completely different I really really love Treacherous. Since then it was one of my favorite songs It doesn't have the same effect because like n her music just keeps getting better and better and better But it's still up there All right, Gorgeous is um, kind of my ride or die, the one I will fight people over because I love it so much. I think it's like, oh, it's so dumb, so simple, it's all pop. Like, that's, that's all I want is just like a cute pop song all the time. Um, I didn't fall in love with it right away. It was after she sang it at Swansea, which was one of her first live performances of any songs from Reputation. And it went on YouTube and it was just beautiful. Gorgeous is amazing. I love it so much. Um, the triangle is like, ding! My love that so much. Next is I Wish You Would. This was my favorite pretty early on from the album. I just love how it's um, lyrically kind of sounds like old Taylor, you know, 2 a.m. But it sounds so new and I mean, I don't know my facts, but I swear it's a Jack Antonoff song. So I mean, it's kosher. I love this song so much. The way it moves and it just feels like cinematic almost. <laughs> Should have said no, oh my gosh, it's so good. It was kind of like all the old songs is like, oh, like that's in the past. Um, like Red is the new one, right? Um, and then I got a song book to, so I could play it, um, some Taylor Swift songs on my cello. And this was one of the few ones that I could sight read because like, <laughs> we're not that good at music here. I can play like one or two things on cello that don't sound bad. But anyways, this was one of them. And so I just played all the time and I love it so much. And then when it all came back for Rep Tour, like it was like, <laughs> so good it's just so smart and like she was so young like going into the country music scene and just like this like yelling at boys like stop and cheating on me is like her her thing <laughs> the next one is shake it off we all know this is the best song that taylor swift has ever written this was a bop the day it came out a few years later during the taylor swift drought Listening to the song felt like all the energy of an album release. It's so reminiscent of 1989 and Shake It Off was like everything she stood for. And I think, you know, we can never forget how amazing this song is. And I mean, the music video is hilarious. Who doesn't love that? Remember when this song came out? It was like the best day ever. It felt like you could never be upset again. <laughs> Okay, if you thought Shake It Off had some backlash, 
when this song came out, like literally everyone was like, oh, I'm not a Taylor Swift fan anymore. She's like a pop star. Like I like country music. I don't remember a lot of Taylor Swift fans really liking the song. I loved it so much and it was funny and it was theatrical. And it was everything I wanted it to be. And it was the leading single from Red. So people were really not excited for Red, but it ended up being a masterpiece, obviously. This song was fun when it came out, but it just became more and more fun when you just keep hearing it. And it's just so catchy. It's like a disease. I mean, man, there is nothing like this song. It's so fun. It's so Taylor Swift. I think it's all of her strengths in like one piece. I mean, coming from Speak Now, like this is the leading single. Like it was rough, man. People are like, oh, I miss when Taylor wore a flower crown and I miss when her hair was curly, blah, 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 blah. That's what this song makes me think of. That was that time period. Um, it's still a bop. I love it so much. I like the way you sound in the morning. Number six, we're like more than halfway done is Jump Then Fall. Jump Then Fall was like my alarm for like a hot minute. And I mean, just cause she says, I like the way you sound in the morning, but it was actually my surprise song for Rep Tour Detroit. It will always have that special place in my heart. But before that, I just, this was always like my top throwback track. Cause it's so gosh darn sweet. Definitely my favorite song from Fearless. Maybe my favorite throwback ever. And it's like the only song that just sounds blatantly country that I actually, I'm obsessed with. Like, I love it so much. It's amazing. I love it. I like the way you're everything I ever wanted, like, <laughs> at me. Number five is Call It What You Want. Definitely the best track off of Reputation. I mean, this one didn't hit me right away, but it's like the ah, uh, ah. Uh, like, it's just so whimsical. Love it so much. And it's like so catchy. One of the, her most well-written tracks. And it's so sweet, so pure. I mean, I love it so much. It makes me so happy. It really is that bitch. So Call It What You Want was one of the leading songs from Reputation. So we got it before the album came out. And I don't think I really knew what it, like how amazing it was. It took me a very long time. But I love like the home video of her like playing it and then like all the like the home videos like that gets me every time this song is incredible i think it took a while because gorgeous was like my favorite for so long and then i was like you know what call it what you want is up there so then i was like nah this is my new favorite blah 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 so <laughs> number four is holy ground i mean the best track off of red obviously i love that it was just kind of like i wasn't really on stan twitter but once i got onto it like years after this album came out i just realized that everybody collectively is obsessed with holy ground and i love it so much in hindsight i love her performance on the red tour when she was like boom 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 ch, boom 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 ch. like it's never too late for that red tour dvd am i right is that meme dead i'm trying to be cool all right holy ground's just everything i remember learning all the words Dear John really pulls some heartstrings. This um, became my song um, at the Speak Now tour when she sang it in her purple dress and she sat on the stairs in a ponytail and sang Dear John and I, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It still gives me goosebumps if I watch like even a recording of it or if I watch the Speak Now DVD, like I'm gonna cry. It's not like any other song I think and at a very young age I think I just loved belting it and I mean I'm 19 so like John my Mayer, call me, <laughs> JK. You John Mayer. Is it cool that I said all that? Is it too soon to do this yet? Cause I know that it's that naked. Number two is Delicate. Delicate is, I think, the best single. No, you know what? I can't say anything. But I just, when Delicate went around and just kept going around and going around and going around, and people love it. And I, it's like the one song that can never be overplayed. Like, I love it so much. I love the bridge. I love the beginning. I love the lyrics. I love the chorus. I love the music video, obviously. It's everything. It's the song that she sang um, while going over the crowd. Um, at the show, it's the song, it's the song of our dreams. I mean, it's a song we deserve, it's a song Taylor deserves. It got the hype it deserved. It did not get the Grammy nomination it deserved. It Delicate is amazing because it was like, everyone just collectively was like, you know what, she wrote a good, she wrote a good song. Like the haters are like, 
it's good. That means everything to me. <laughs> that line at the very beginning, my reputation's never been worse. Oh, I just, I just gave myself shivers. <laughs> Hello. But that's everything to me, and I love it so much. It just makes me so happy. It's, I'm literally immune to, like, it being overplayed. Like, I will listen to Delicate for hours. Like, you have no idea. And I'll just, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm, it just gets better every time. And, like, the more hype it got, and the more it kept getting played, the more I loved it. And that was just, like, magic because that never happens. Place your bets. What is number one? Let me know. Get ready to fight me. Everyone has this one song that they're waiting for me to say and I'm not gonna say it and so you're gonna be so pissed. Long Live has always been kind of something close to my heart. This was like my everything song. It was like I wanted to like tattoo it on myself like I was like, there's never going to be a song like Long Live again. Like, it's everything. And it's so great to see it again at the Rep Tour and in the Rep Tour movie. Am I right, ladies? So I love that. I mean, there's just a way it makes me feel that's, you know, that's not like anything else. And it's like, it's for the fans, it's for her band, it's for everybody. It makes me think of um, the black dress and the silver guitar with sparkles. And I literally have like some like pictures that I took of that. Like I was there, I was in the room, hello. But anyway, Long Live is my number one. So those are 13 Taylor Swift songs that I could not live without. Get ready to fight me. What should have been on the list? Again, thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Bye!